my process from becoming a walk-on to a scholarship player, I take pride in it. And I just wanted to play. And I knew that any chance I would get to play, I would take it. Coach Trish, he offered me a chance to play. He offered me a chance to go out there and play football, not really knowing whether I actually would play, not really knowing if I would be in the starting the lineup, not really knowing if I'd be in the rotation. It was just, you know, we need bodies and here's your chance. So I took it. It takes a lot to be a walk-on and earn your scholarship because you don't really get that recognition when you first get here. It shows any other student that, that's coming home that that is a possibility, is that uh, at first, um, it may not be something that the school noticed, but uh, the school's been fair in giving him an opportunity to prove himself and reward him for uh, the good work that he's done. And for that, we like, that's, that's awesome. It speaks volumes in the school. I like the fact that I became a leader on the team because it symbolizes that hard work really does get you somewhere. Hard work really does get you recognition and get you on the field. And, you know, that's what I pride myself on. My time here at Elon has, has changed me. It has, has made me into such a better young man. You know, I went through the lowest of lows with these guys, and then I, I went through and um, stuck it out, and we, we became one of the best teams in the nation. The JMU game, that's something that definitely stands out in my career. It was just a, a feeling I won't, I won't be able to describe. One of my favorite moments was getting the interception against JMU. I remember getting the pick and just, like, I was just laying on the ground. I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. I remember Ole came up to me and I, I just started, like, I was just emotional. It was, it was so cool to be with, you know, like guys like Ole and Ephraim and Mess and Corey and guys that, you know, we had been on those teams that were getting killed. The game was over in the first quarter when we played teams like JMU. And now that we went to their place and we beat them, and for it to end like that, for, for me, it was, it was better than any script I could have written. It's heartwarming to see the trans transformation and to be a part of it, to have a culture do a complete 180, and now it's, we're going into the games knowing we can win. You know, and that's, it's heartwarming to see that and to see the the hard work pay off. I think it's something that we're able to not be, you know, so upset that it's over, but rather look back on it with great pride knowing that we did that. Coming in, we knew that we were going to be the group of guys to change things. To see it actually happen is it's a totally two different thing. We took something that was, you know, it wasn't great when we came in here. When a lot of us redshirted our freshman year in 2015 and we were 1-11, and 11, I think. It's been really cool to see how, how it's changed, but then at the same time see how it's changed us as, as people. I came here for football, but so much more came out of it than just football. I think Elon has taught him to be a good person. You know, help out in the community. Um, you know, different clubs and things that, he, that he's in. And Elon's giving him opportunities to flourish and to be a better person. I became a man. My academics took off from what they were just because the type of school we're here, school it is here. I just think here that they, they actually care for the kid. You know, you're not just, you know, what are you going to do for me in the football field? Um, they actually want to see you succeed in every area in your life. So. I'm grateful, grateful for you all. The foundation is being a family, and you can't have a family without trust and respect. I've learned so many life lessons that I will take with me forever. It all comes back to, you know, getting up and doing the workouts, doing all the little things that seem kind of minuscule, but now looking back on it, it's, 
it was all for a bigger picture. We bled together, we sweat together, we went through the lows together. We've been through you know, losing seasons, losing a teammate. We've been through winning seasons now, and all the trials and hardships that come with that, it just makes your bond with your teammates so much closer. Um, we are a very big class, but we're very close. The people I've met here are relationships I will have for the rest of my life. The relationships I made on the team will, will always be there. You know, they're always going to be my brothers. A lot of the, the, the fellas call me mom. And um, so he's gotten brothers for life here. And we've gotten more sons from his relationship with, with this team here. I've met my best friends. I've met guys that will be in my wedding. I'm going to miss these guys very much. It's tough to leave a place where you're surrounded by so many great people and great young men, and it's crazy to, to move on from how we've got it now, but I know that these guys, like they're such, such good guys, such genuine guys that they're gonna be great. They're gonna be great husbands, fathers, and, and friends. Relationships are the, the, the fabric of life. It's not your classwork, it's not your career, but it's, it's personal relationships. I'm, I'm incredibly pleased that, that he's established the friendships to such a depth that, that those things are gonna go on and last for a good long while. And that makes all the stuff that he's gone through, that makes all of that worth it. He has played football since he was four years old. He started out with flag football. I didn't know much about it. I just, I kind of remember getting on the field and uh, the coach telling me to get on the offense and I didn't know what side offense was. His goal in football, he wanted to be a kicker. That was his goal at four years old. When I got to high school, it was just football and track. And the only reason why I did track was to get better at football. Funny story, I, I play football, peewee football, but I quit because I got hit too hard. And he walked off the field, taking off his pads and said he'd never play again. But it was a little coaxing. Uh, he loved the game. He came back to it and uh, he's never looked back. He's always wanted to play. I started playing football when I was five, maybe. I, I mean, I've been playing catch, like just throwing things for as long as I can remember. I think he said ball before he said mama. <laughs> I do. Uh, we were just uh, able to run the ball, and I think the run opened up the pass. We had a lot of good play action. I could never really imagine life without sports, so I think that football in college was just kind of what I was going to do. Football means everything. Um, like I was telling my dad earlier today, I seriously don't have a memory in my life without football. You know, every day I say I'm living the dream, and I, I was. Uh, that's my dream of playing college football. Football has been one of the biggest blessings in my life because it's taken me places that I never thought I would go, and met people I never, I never really thought that I would, I would ever have the opportunity to meet. It's been huge for me. It's, it's something that will be, will be tough to leave, but um, I'll always be able to look back and be proud of where football has taken me.